will present material about the history of Islamic education in Andalusia, Spain. This is a mid-semester exam assignment for the course that is taught by Mr. Mujib as a lecturer in the history of Islamic education. Previously, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fatna Fusia from class 5 TBIB. The History of Islamic Education in Andalusia Spanish History records that the classical period was the golden age and glory of Islam in various fields, including the fields of science and education. At this time, Islamic civilization and culture, especially in Andalusia, reached its peak and could not be surprised by any nation. At a time when the European Christian nation was still illiterate, Muslims in Andalusia become educated and educated people, and many become prolific scientists with great and quality works. Islamic education is known and viewed by Muslims as education that originates from Islamic teachings and that Islamic education has a very important and fundamental difference from other educational models. History proves that Islam instilled the foundation of science in Spain thereby increasing the dignity of Spain as a stereo house of knowledge in Europe. Cordova was one of the centers of development of Islamic knowledge in the West under the rule of the Umayyad to Andalusia. During the reign of Abdurrahman al-Nashir, Cordova became the most cultural city in Europe and one of the three cultural centers of the world, along with Constantinople and Baghdad. Education in Andalusia Islamic era was able to develop rapidly because of the teaching style they applied, the methods used, the educational institutions developed, and the progress of education in the Andalusia Islamic era. Policies that bring progress in science, culture, and civilization also bring progress in education. On the one hand, education encourages the progress of science, culture, and civilization. But on the other hand, the application of science, culture, and civilization can affect the progress of education. This happens because of the uh, functional relationships between education and the development of science. Okay, right way. Do you know what is the history of Islamic education in Andalusia? Islam in Spain records aspects of civilization culture that are very brilliant during the historical civilization of Islam. Islam in Andalusia must be seen as part of from the Islamic world. It acts as a bridge across which knowledge based Greco Arabic knowledge to Europe in the 12th century. Interest in education and science and philosophy began to be developed during the reign of the 5th Umayyad ruler, namely by Muhammad bin Abdurrahman, who ruled from 1832 until 1886 AD. Strange Spanish Muslim intellectuals actually only started in the 10th century, but its most significant contribution has only been made during the period the last half of the 11th century to the middle of the 13th century. When Spain has solidified its foundation building in the world of science knowledge that he had pioneered some time before, including in among them is this entry of Islam since the 11th century. Various Islamic treasures were introduced to the European world, 
In line with the increasing flow of students and scholars from Europe Westerners who study in Spanish high school and universities and through translation of Muslim works from Arabic language sources. This is what stimulates growth and development of medical theory and practice modification of doctrines, theology, initiating a new world in mathematics, producing new control controversies in the fields of theology and philosophy. Its sharing in cultural regional extent and the character of its relationship to the liver must be seen in the world of Islamic education, especially in the Eastern Islamic region, known madrasa institutions. But the term madrasa is not widely known in the Andalusia region. Mosques and libraries are, are still the base in development of the world of science. The term madrasa is not known in Andalusia until the 13th century CE. It was not until the middle of the 14th century that a large madrasa building was erected in Granada by the Nazi rulers, namely Yusuf Abu al Hajjaj in 700. 50 Hijriah. Madrasa development in Granada it eventually became an example for the establishment of madrasas in the other four in Andalusia. The development of Islam in Spain. From the time he first set foot on Spanish show until the fall of the last Islamic empire there. Islam played a very large role. It lasted more than seven and a half centuries. The long history of the Muslim in Spain can be divided into six periods. First period in 711 until 755 AD. In this period, Spain was under the rule of the guardians who were Point, uh, who were appointed by the Umayyah Cal Caliphate based in Damascus. During this period, the political stability of Spain was not under control. Security disturbances still occurred in several areas because this period was the time of laying the foundations principles and objectives of the Islam of the Islamic invasion in Spain and in second period in 755 until 912 AD um, at this time Spain was under the rule of a person holding the title of Amir but not subject to to the center of Islamic government, which was then held by the Abbasid Caliph in Baghdad. The first, Amir was Abdurrahman uh, ad dakhil He was a descendant of the Umayyads who managed to escape from the pursuit of the Bani Abbas. At this time, Muslims in Spain began to make progress both in the fields of politics and civilization and education. In third period, at 912 until 1013 AD, in this period last from the reign of Abdu Abdurrahman III until the emergence of Muluk al Tawaif, the king of the Kurds. During this period, Spain was ruled by rules with the title Caliphate. In this period, Muslim in Spain reached the peak of progress and glory to rival the opposite sovereign in Baghdad. Abdurrahman al Nasir founded the University of Cordova. The library has a collection of hundreds of thousands of books. Hakam too was also a book collector and library founder. Fourth period at 1013 until 1086 AD. In this period, 
Spain was divided into more than 30 small countries under the orders of the kings of the group or al muluk Tawaif, which was centered in a city such as Seville, Cordoba, Toledo and so on. The largest of them is the Abadiyah in Seville. At this time, Muslims in Spain experienced internal conflict. In fifth period, at 1086 until 1248 AD, in this period, there was one power that was still dominant, namely the Murabitun dynasty and the Muwahidun dynasty. The Murab Murabitun dynasty was originally a religious movement in North Africa, founded by Yusuf ibn Tashfi in 1062 AD. He succeeded in establishing an empire centered in Marrakech. He entered Spain at the invitation of the Islamic kings who were defending their power from the attacks of Christian kings. The Mawahidun dynasty came to Spain under the leadership of Abdul Mun Munaim between 1114 and 1155 54 sorry 54 AD the Muslim cities of Cordova Almira and Granada fell under his control for several uh, for several decades this dynasty experienced a lot of progress Christian force can be replaced however in 1000 and 212 AD, the Christian army won a major victory at Las Navas de Tolesa. The defeats experienced by Muwahidun caused the, ru the rulers to choose at leave Spain and return to North Africa in 1235 AD. In the last period, um, at 1248 until 1492 AD, in this period, Islam only ruled in the Granada area under the Bani Ahmad dynasty. Civilization is progressing again like the time of Abdurrahman and Nasir. However, politically, this dynasty only ruled in a small area. The power of Islam, which was the last defense in Spain, ended because of the disputes of the court people in fighting for power. Abu Abdullah Muhammad was displeased with his fa father for appointing um, another son as his successor as king he rebuilt and tried to seize power in the rebellion his father was killed and replaced by Muhammad ibn Sa'ad Abu Abdullah then asked Ferdinand and Isabella for help to bring him down these two Christian rulers were able to defeat the legitimate ruler and Abu Abdullah ascended the throne. This is an opportunity for Ferdinand and Isabella because they want to seize the last power of Muslims in Spain. Abu Abdullah was unable to withstand attack um, from Christians and in the end admitted David and handed over all his power to Ferdinand and Isabella. That's when the end of Islamic rule in Spain in 1400 
9280. At the time when Muslims were faced with two choices, convert to Christianity or leave Spain. In 1609 AD, it can be said that there are no more Muslims in Spain. Then, what is the pattern of Islamic education in Spain? Generally divided into two parts. First, Kutab, the expansion of Islamic territory and reach Muslim and motivated them to establish educational institutions such as Kutabs and mosques. In Andalusia also has many Kutab scattered in the suburbs. In this institution, students study various scientific fields such as fiqh, language and literature, music and art. Kutab was one of the lowest and well-organized educational institutions of its time. In this institution, students learn different types of knowledge such as fig, language and literature, music and art. Why students um, learn fig? Because Islam in Andalusia is included in the adherents of the Imam Maliki school. The scholars introduced fiqih material from the Imam Maliki school. The famous features at the time, among others, Ziyad ibn Abdul Rahman, ibn Yahya, Abu Bakar ibn al qudiyah Munzir ibn Sa'id al baluti and ibn Hazm. Santri Kutab received fairly complete lesson from scholars who were experts in their fields of knowledge so that students absorbed the knowledge they learned more quickly and stimulated their interest in learning at the time. And the next is language and literature. Arabic is the official language of Muslim in Spain. This language can be learned in Kutab, where students must always have a dialogue in the official language of Islam. So, this language spreads quickly and becomes the language of everyday life. This language features include Ibn Sayyidi, Ibn Malik who composed Alfia, Ibn Huruf, Ibn al Hajj, Abu Ali al Ishbi, Abu al Hasan ibn Usfur, and Abu Hayyan al Ghornati. In the field of famous literature, Ibn Abdul, Abdul Rabih with his work Al Iqt al Farid, Ibn Basan with his work Al Zakira, Fi Mahasim Ahlu al Jazira, and Al Fad Ibn Haqqan with his book Al Qalaib. And the last, music and art. Arabic music developed in Spain and stimulated the growth of artistic values. A number of musical and artistic features, nicknamed Al Hasan ibn Nafi or Ziryab, 789 until 857 CE, emerged during this period. Ziryab is a music arranger who is reliable and skilled in changing the lyric of songs that are suitable for all levels and ages. And he always appears at state banquets in Cordova. His expertise in music and art made him a famous feature of his time. The knowledge he possessed was then talk to his children both male and female and also to slaves so that them spread widely and very quickly and second is higher education there is no denying that Islam is Spain was a milestone in the history of civilization culture and education in the 8th and late 13th centuries. The University of Cordova stands majestically and becomes a symbol of Spain, so that Spain is famous throughout the world. 
The University of Cordova was founded by Abdurrahman al Nasir in the years 929 until 961 AD. The University of Cordova is one of the world's renowned higher education institutions. This university stands side by side with the Abdurrahman three mosques. This university has become the main choice of young people who love science, both from part of Asia, Europe, Africa, and other parts of the world. There are many things that deserve attention from this area, especially in the field of education. It can be concluded that the science of history, like other Islamic science, is highly developed in Andalusia. His library at that time was unrivaled, which contained approximately 4 million books covering various disciplines. These books are attended for, for more than a thousand students who are studying. In addition, there are also universities of Seville, Malaga, and Granada. This college teaches medicine, astronomy, theology, Islamic law, chemistry, and others. In these institutions, there are teachers who are well known, including Ibn Qutayba, who is known as a grammar expert, Abu Ali Koli, who is an expert in the field of biology. Broadly speaking, at the universities in Spain, there are two concentrations of knowledge, namely philosophy and science. Why philosophy? Interest in philosophy and science began to develop in the 9th century during the reign of Muhammad ibn Abdurrahman in 832 until 886 AD. Then, at the initiative of Al Hakam in 961 until 976 AD. Scientific and philosophical works were imported from the East in large numbers. So, this has an impact on libraries and universities in Cordova, which are able to complete with Baghdad as the main center of knowledge in the Islamic world. So that some time afterward gave birth to great philosophers with their golden works. The first and foremost Muslim philosopher in the history of philosophy in Andalus was named Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Yahya ibn al Sa'ir, or better known as Ibn Bajja. Usually, Western people call it a vain speech. He was born in Saragossa, Spain, at the end of the 5th century Hijriah or the 11th century AD. At the end of the 12th century AD, there appeared a follower of Aristotle who has the largest in Islamic philosophy. He was Abu al-Walid Muhammad ibn Ahmad ibn Rushd. He was born in Cordova, Andalus in the year 510 Hijria, who is famous as Ibn Rushid. His extraordinary expertise in the science of law made him the chief justice of the Supreme Court in Cordova, or Qadi al qudan His most famous masterpiece is Bidayah al Mujtahid. And then science. The name of Abbas ibn Farnas is recorded, a well-known expert in chemistry and astronomy. Um, he was the first to discover the manufacture of glass from stone. 
the development side uh, the development of science in this area was also followed by medicine, mathematics, chemistry, and music, as well as other science. There is even a female scientist who is an expert in the field of medicine, namely Um Al Hasan Pinti Abi Jafar. And then how is the practice of Islamic education in Andalusia? Andalusia began to develop its own culture with a distinctive Andalusian identity. Islam and Arabic were clearly the most important factors and at the same time an identity in the progress of Andalusian culture at that time as in the rest of the Islamic world which was starting to build its own social culture for example in many places children's education begins with memorizing the Al-Quran in Andalusia children's education begins with reading and writing classes that refer to the verses of the Quran as a reference material This practice can be seen in the works of Ibn al-Banna, al-Marakushi, Ibn al-Idari, and Ibn al-Khatib. On the other hand, some Christian writers do the same thing. Significant religious traditions are, so, are also shared in Andalus with a dynamic approach. In practice, the recitation begins in the mosques to meet the needs of the education and learning process for early childhood. This tradition uh, maintains Islamic views and values with the understanding of the Quran interpretations and hadith as important foundation and principles. And then is the factors supporting the progress of Islamic education in Spain. There are several factors that influence the development of education. Civilization and Islamic culture in Spain including the first because of the support from the authorities the progress of Islamic Spain in largely determined by the existence of strong and authoritative rulers and love signs, as well as providing support and appreciation for scientists and scholars. And second, the establishment of schools and universities in several cities in Spain by Abdurrahman III or An Nasir with his famous university, the University of Cordova, as well as the construction of libraries that have a large collection of books. And third, the number of Islamic scholars who came from the eastern end to be the western end of the Islamic region broke various books and various ideas. This shows that although the Muslim Ummah is divided into several political units, there is what is called an Islamic cultural unity. And the last, um, there was competition between the Abbasids in Baghdad and the Umayyads in Spain in the fields of science and civilization. Competition in the fields of science is evidenced by the establishment of the University of Cordova which reveals the 
Nizamia University in Baghdad, which is a positive competition, not always in the form of war. And then, the influence of Islamic Spanish civilization in Europe. The progress of Europe, which continues to grow until now, owes a lot to the treasures of Islam knowledge that developed in the classical period. Indeed, the channel of how Islamic civilization influenced Europe, such as Sicily and the Crusades, but the most important channel was Islamic Spain. Spain is the most important place for Europe in absorbing Islamic civilization, both in the form of political, social, and economic relations, and civilization between countries. The Europeans witnessed the fact that Spain was under Islamic rule far away from their countries, especially in the fields of talk and signs in addition to physical buildings. The most important talk can be seen through the talk of Ibn Rush. He released the cycles of taklid and advocated freedom of talk. He reviews Aristotle's talk in a way that appeals to all free-thinking people. He put forward the Sunnatullah according to the Islamic understanding of pantheism and Christian anthropomorphism. So, Creed was the influence of Ibn Rushd talk in Europe that the Averism movement emerged which demanded freedom of talk. The Kurds rejecting the rational thinking book by this Averism movement. The influence of Islamic civilization, including Ibn Rushd, talk to Europe, um, originates from the many European Christian youths who studied at Islamic universities in Spain, such as the universities of Granada, Cordova, Seville, and Malaga. While studying in Spain, they were active in translating books by Muslim scientists. The translation center is in Toledo. After returning to their country, they founded the same schools and universities. The first university in Europe was, uh, was the University of Paris, which was founded in 1231 AD, 30 years after Ibn Rushd died. By the end of the Middle Ages, Europe had un only founded 18 universities. In the university, the knowledge they gain comes from universities that are taught Islam, such as medicine, exact science, and philosophy. The most, uh, the most studied philosophical talks are those of Al-Farabi, Ibn Sina, and Ibn Rush. And the conclusion of the historical Islamic education in Andalusia is that Islam in Spain recorded aspects of civilization, culture that was very brilliant during this time Islamic civilization's history. It acts as a pedestrian bridge through which creates Arabic signs to Europe in the 12th century. Um, interest in education and science and philosophy began to be developed during the reign of the fifth Umayyad ruler namely by Muhammad ibn Abdurrahman who led from 832 until 886 AD Muslim intellectual strength Spain actually only started in the 10th century but it's contributions are the most significant was only carried out during the last half of the 11th century until the middle of the 13th century um, based on the literature that discusses the history of 
historical education Islamic civilization in Andalusia is generally divided into two parts namely through kutab and higher education um, when where in kutab students learn various scientific fields such as fic, language and literature music and art kutab is wrong uh, Kutab is wrong one of the lowest and well-organized educational institutions of its time. While broadly speaking, at universities in Spain, there are two types of concentrations of science, namely philosophy and science. The practice of Islamic education in Andalusia is starting to develop its culture itself, with a distinct, um, distinctive Andalusian identity. Islam and Arabic are clear is the most important factor and at the same time an identity in cultural progress Andalusia at that time. In Andalusia also began to build its own socio-culture. For example, um, in many places children's education begins with memorizing the Quran. In Andalusia, children's education begins with reading and writing that refers to the verses of the Quran as a reverence material. Okay, that's how it looks. I hope it's useful for us, for friends, for all of you guys. Thank you for watching the video. I apologize if there are wrong words in the, my pronunciation because the perfect one belongs only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe ya. Akhirul kalam, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you soon guys, annyeong.